a much happier ending. If you were given a second chance at life, what would you do differently? It's a question that one of our very independent people has had to face. Lester Smith was shot four times by a jealous girlfriend while he was sleeping, and he nearly died. That was in the mid-70s. Today, he treasures his life and is persuading others to do the same. We are family. Lester Smith, better known as Smitty, wasn't even supposed to live, much less sing and dance again. That's what doctors told him after an angry girlfriend shot him four times while he was sleeping. The um, shooting made me realize the value of life. And it's so devastating when these things happen to you. But, like I said, now I don't look at it that way. It's a turning point, but not so devastating. Smitty simplified his life, began to think more positively, and encouraged others to do the same. The result is Natural High Entertainment, a nonprofit group that performs at more than 80 local charity and community events every year. I don't need no drugs, no, no, cause I'm on a natural high. It's like an all-American, good, good group where we, you know, we don't do drugs, we, we carry a lot of positive messages, um, we're very energetic. While the message may be all American, members of the group are the first to admit they weren't always good role models. I became a car thief and I got caught, uh, I got sentenced to four years state prison and I did two and a half. I was uh, working up in the California Conservation Corps and I got terminated for doing drugs, went on the streets, joined up with the gang of hoodlums and started breaking into buildings. And I came into the group about 10 years ago and I lacked self-confidence and would um, abuse alcohol. I really didn't know myself and uh, to go out there and, and to talk to dif different people, it was real hard for me to open up and say, you know, I was into drugs and I was into the fast lane. And It's an awakening that we're all going through, whether it be with the gangs, whether it be drugs, whether it be education. Everybody's waking up and finding they are a part of all of this. For crew members David Fabo and David Evelyn, Smitty's Garage and Natural High are now home and family. One David was homeless and the other got out of a halfway house with Smitty's help. Both of them more or less just needed some direction. They need to be around somebody who would um, uh, take the time to, sh to tell them where they were going wrong. I can actually feel good about myself and who I am and understand what I'm doing. I have a purpose and I'm going somewhere. The more I get into it, the more I like it, honestly. And that's really coming from the heart. I'm being real sincere about that. I involve myself. I don't need Smitty anymore to tell me, David, you need to go here, here, and there. You know, <laughs> like that. I do it on my own. We Anybody that comes in and does what they want to do, any of that success is the natural high. While they're enjoying themselves, they're also getting the message that it's about love and unity and the community helping and helping that, group, that youth to grow up in a positive direction and give something back to their community. My biggest reward, you see it right here. And what they'll go on and do in life with their children and meeting other people is going to be far, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm not going to stop until I know that there's a chance, there is a future for the children coming up as long as I breathe. Thank you and have a natural day. Bye-bye.